Hi, this is Tim. I'm getting ready to make some videos using this Allen Bradley Compact Logix L27 PLC, but I previously used it and I don't remember what its IP address is. So I'm gonna use the PLC Tools SIM IPE to not only read its IP address, but I'm also gonna use it to change it. To do that, I'm gonna plug directly into the Compact Logix. And also, since I'm gonna write the IP address to it, I wanna just connect to it only. So I'm gonna unplug the Ethernet cable from the Compact Logix, and I'm gonna plug directly into it. Then I'm gonna to go to read unknown IP address, and there is our Compact Logix. You see, it gives us the MAC address. It also tells us the part number, 1769L27ERM. It tells us that it is version 32 and gives us the serial number. But most importantly at the top, this is 192.168.133. I need it to be 192.168.114. So at the bottom, it says OK to save this IP address. I'm going to click the OK button and that's going to save it to the target IP address. Then I'm going to hit cancel to go out. Then I'm going to hit up to go to assign address. And then I am going to replace static IP. And see, it says replace address 192.168.133, which is the address of the Compact Logics. And then it's going to ask, what do you want to change it to? And I want to change it to 192.168.114. Press OK. And it says target accepted new IP address. So I'll hit cancel and go to read unknown. And now, same exact data, except our IP address is now 192.168.114. So this is a very valuable tool. In fact, probably this and my analog simulator are the two devices that I never leave home without when I'm going to a job site. And it is absolutely the easiest way to discover the IP address of ethernet devices that don't have a display on them. So I'll put a link to the PLC tool SIM IPE in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.